Hello my friends, welcome to another edition in our CSEC exam past paper questions and solutions. Here we are on section 2, question 9 part B. And this question generally falls under the topic algebra and relations, functions and graphs on the exam paper. Okay, and we have the heading there. Now in, in the previous video we looked at um, part A, so now let's get into part B. And here in part B we are required to complete the square. Now for, ex for, the, qu for the question, for the working of the question, I'll be moving a little bit faster. Um, however, because we have a lot of work examples and we have a playlist on completing the square. So if after you have watched the video a couple of times and you haven't gotten it, you could always revisit our playlist on completing the squares where I've walked you through the basic concepts, you know, in it. All right. So feel free to do that. Now, here in part B, let's just pull here is equal to 4x squared minus 8x minus 2 in the form a open bracket x plus h close bracket all squared plus k okay where a h and k are constants and that's an easy two marks so let's just quickly get into it all right now let's write the function the function states that 4x 4x squared minus 8x minus 2 and we are supposed to convert it in this form over here okay now basically if the coefficient of x square is not positive one we have to factor it out okay so basically i'm going to take out this 4 i'm going to place it out here okay so i have a 4 there then i'm going to open bracket and i'm going to factor out uh, my 4 so 4 divided into 4 x square 4 will cancel 4 leaving me with an x squared and 4 into negative 8x 4 into 8 goes 2 times and I know a positive divided by a negative will leave me with a positive with a negative rather my bad and then basically I'm saying 4 into negative 2 so um, let's just show a little workings over here basically what I'm saying of negative 2 up top and I'm dividing through by 4 so I know here that a negative 2 going to itself once and a 2 going to 4 2 times so I'm left with negative 1 upon 2 okay so basically what is left here I have a negative a half okay so I've divided through all my terms by 4 okay so I have factored out 4 so what we're left with is x square minus 2x minus a half now basically what I'll be doing here the next step and let me state my workings I'm gonna be doing my workings on this side okay and it's always um, advised to do your workings because um, if you should make a mistake in the exam the examiners can always check back your workings to see where you went wrong and you may just pick up a mark okay so basically what I'm going to be doing remember the general the general form of a quadratic is a x squared plus b x plus C all right now what I'll be doing we have just factored out the a and if you notice by comparison my a would be 4 so we had factored out a now what we need to do I'm going to take half of b which is my middle term there okay I'm going to take a half of b and I'm going to square it okay so I'm um, let me just make a note I'm going to take a half of b and I'm going to square it okay and what is that now let's just calculate that quickly I'm saying a half and if you notice B is here now and my B would be negative 2 by comparison okay so I'm taking a half of B which is negative 2 and I'm going to square that okay so 2 into itself goes once 2 into 2 goes 1 so I have a negative 1 times 1 and this would be equal to negative 1 so a negative 1 times a positive 1 will give us a negative one sorry about that now basically what I'll be doing now I'm going to this um, let me just change the color a bit now this negative one square that I've just calculated I'm going to add it to my second term okay and then I'm going to subtract it from my end term okay and as I've said if you're not clear always check back on those lessons that I've done on completing the square after you do I know that you will be fully um, comfortable with this topic all right so we have a 4 I'm just going to take down my 4 open bracket okay let me just change my color what I'm gonna do I'm taking down my x squared okay and then I'm saying minus 2x all right but here now after I write my mind after I've written my minus 2x I'm going to take my negative 1 square and I'm going to add it 
to my second term as I've said so I am adding a negative 1 squared and then I'm subtracting my bringing down my negative a half right there okay and then I'm going to subtract subtract this the same negative 1 from my n term so negative 1 squared I'm going to subtract there from my n and then I'm going to close up my brackets okay now here guys um, basically the next step will entail all I'm doing now I'm going to take back down my 4 open my bracket okay and then simply all I'm doing here now, to be honest with you I'm going to look at the first two square terms okay let's identify them this is the this is one and this would be the second if you notice we have three square term I'm focusing on the first two square terms okay which are these two which are these two so I'm saying X so I'm bringing down this X and then what's inside the bracket there I'm bringing that down which is negative one now if you notice they were all squared right so what I'm gonna be doing here I'm just going to bracket them and I'm going to square them since both terms were squared up there now if you notice what I have left around the back here um, this that I'm putting in red here okay in this red brackets okay um, these are numbers we can just quickly calculate them so let's just do that quickly I have a negative a half if you notice I have a negative 1 over 2 minus negative 1 all squared okay let's calculate that quickly so what I'm left with here basically I have negative a half minus and we know that negative 1 squared is the same as negative 1 times negative 1 which is equal to a negative times a negative will give us a positive 1 so really what I have left there is a positive 1 but because the negative sign is in front of the bracket it will take on the negative sign okay turn that into a fraction we can find the LCD and calculate this quickly 2 into 2 goes once, 1, one times negative 1 will give me a negative 1, 1 into 2 goes 2 times, and 2 times negative 1 will also give me a negative 2. So what I'm left with here is a negative 1 minus 2, when the signs are the same we add and keep our signs, so we have a negative 3 over 2. So basically what all of this at the back here has worked out to be is really negative 3 upon 2. All right. So basically what I can do now, I can just close up my bracket there. We are good. Now, um, what you notice happening here, the 4 is multiplying everything inside the bracket. No. Okay. So what is happening? Let me just do this quickly. The 4 is multiplying x minus 1 all squared. And also my 4 is multiplying my negative two up, 3 upon 2. So he, at, for this step now, what I can do, I am just going to bring down my 4. And I'm going to open bracket and say 4 times x minus 1 all squared. x minus 1 all squared. And then since, four, since this is a number, we can always calculate it. So if you notice, it's the same 3 upon 2 I have there, I have over here. So I'm just going to take my 4 and calculate that. And let's see what we get out of that. So I'm saying multiply by 4. 2 into itself goes once. And 2 into 4 goes 2 times. So we have a negative 3 times 2. So that would be equal to negative 6. So really what I have left here is a negative 6. That's what we have calculated there. All right. Now we could always write down the values for our a h and k now by comparison if you notice a would be in front of the bracket and if you notice I have a 4 in front of my bracket there which match with my a there okay so therefore I can say therefore a is equal to 4 comma and h now here that they're asking us to find this h there okay I can say h is equal to and if you notice by comparison again I have an H my H is inside the bracket there it's a second term in term inside the bracket and if you notice my H would be negative 1 so I would have a negative 1 there and and my K would be equal to let me just put it here my K would be equal to the constant any value that is at the back there okay that's what my K is so in this case my K would be negative 6 okay so that, that that's it for that and here now so let's just quickly move on to part 2 they're asking us to state in part 2 the minimum value the minimum value of f of x okay and and in part 3 they're asking us to find the value of x for which the minimum 
for which f of x is a minimum. So let's just pull this up quickly and get into that. Um, this is pretty much easy from here, having calculated um, our answer already. So you can now state in part 2 that the minimum value of f of x, part 2, let me put it here, part 2, the minimum value of f of x, f of x is any value that is out here, okay? You just pick up that value. Or it's the same thing as you're saying k, okay? My k there, the constant. So any value that is out there, my minimum value would be negative 6. And that's your answer for that in part 2. Okay, remember this would be our answer when we had written it in that form. Now for part 3, they're asking us for the value of x for which the minimum occurs, okay? Or where f of x is at its minimum. Um, anything that is inside your bracket here, guys. This bracket here, anything that is inside that bracket that I've underlined in red just now, you're going to take that out and you're going to equate it to 0. So I'm going to say x minus 1 equals 0, okay? So by transposition, x would be equal to positive 1 positive 1, okay? Because a negative 1, when you take it away, you'll get a positive 1. So therefore, um, the x value, the x value, okay, at which the minimum occurs, at which the minimum, minimum, n, this is a n, minimum occurs is positive positive one, okay? So positive one is our answer, and that's it. Bye-bye.